recording. I have. I don't know why that's beeping like that. Anyways, I have my headlamp, a little bit of a light source, because I'm not going to turn the IR on just yet. Just yet. Uh, I want to tell everybody the actual story about the mirror and why we got it, how we came to get the mirror. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know what the hell is going on. I've been sick for... I've, I've actually been sick since March. Uh, I'm not sure with what. They said severe allergies. They said severe asthma. They said severe bronchitis and pneumonia. Uh, my, literally, I haven't worked since March 24th was my last full day at work. Um, my job sent me home on the 25th, and that was it. Um almost died twice uh once on um it was march march 30th i went into uh like an asthma panic attack type thing and i stopped breathing i really don't remember that one but um the second time i went into the hospital i got rushed by ambulance both times it was april 31st or May 1st, it, or yeah, May 1st, it was, it was 2.30 in the morning, so I technically say April 31st, but it was technically May 1st at 2.30 in the morning, um, again, I had the same thing, I, you know, couldn't catch my breath, and, um, uh, actually, the doctor flat out told me that time, if I didn't get an ambulance to pick me up when I did, I, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made it. <clears throat> so, which is really weird because, um, literally in, in December and January, I played two football tournaments, one in December and one in January. And then and in January, I started getting like a, you know, season, the season changing, you know, sickness, whatever. And then literally right after that, at the end, of, at the end of January, I started getting, uh, or no, no, I'm sorry. I already told you the end of January, like February, I started feeling like, okay, March, I missed two weeks of work because I couldn't breathe. Um, and then just out of, out of nowhere, uh, it started getting really, really bad for no reason. Um, so hopefully I'm like, I'm actually finally starting to like be able to breathe and shit, but I'm still not out of the woods yet. I just, I wish I was able to go out and play football and, and all that stuff again. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that again or not, which sucks really bad because that's my life. You know, I wouldn't be, <clears throat> I wouldn't be doing any, any of the shit that I, I'm doing now. Not that I'm doing anything bad, but I wouldn't be doing half of the shit that I'm doing now if I was able to play football. Because that is my, that's my release. That's, you know, that's, that's the way to be able to, what I always used to do like whenever I'm depressed or whenever I'm pissed off or upset, you know, I grab a, a football and go talk to my buddy. Hey, let's go pass. Let's, you know, let's go clear our minds. I can't do that now. So, and it's, it's hard. I mean, Friday was, uh, the, the ninth year anniversary of a very, very close member of mine a close family member of mine being gone. She died of pancreatic cancer, my aunt Deb. Um, and that was really hard. I took her death very hard because um, me and her were really, really close. And it's... <clears throat> it was... It, it, Friday was a... 
was a big test for me um, mentally to try to get past it because I mean it from really from August 10th that would be my cousin's birthday August 22nd he passed away this was a decade 10 years ago um, this year it was 10 years ago um, my grandmother uh, a year later September 3rd, it was Labor Day, I'll never forget it, thought it was stroke, then my Aunt Debbie died November 6th, and then a couple years later, I believe it was November, it was November 3rd for my Uncle Charlie, not my Aunt Deb's husband, it was on my dad's side, um, um, he died, it was my cousin Chucky's dad, um, He took his, like, fourth or fifth year anniversary really hard. And he, he ended up overdosing on heroin, which was, it was terrible. They found him with a needle still in his arm, which was, I still take that pretty hard. Um, and then my grandfather, uh, my grandmother, who passed away on, in September, my gra her husband finally passed away uh it was i believe the following year the year after that i believe in october october 26th i do believe so yeah like from august until well after november i'm always like in a very bad depressive state and i don't even try to be it's just how it is it's always been like that since the day my cousin died so, but anyways, past that, I don't even know how the hell that came up, but this story, that actually took like seven some minutes to tell you, but, um, my, we went to the flea market in Periopolis, PA, um, this was, I actually think it was in August or early September. It was either end of July. No, it was no, it was either August, early August, or September. We bought the mirror. I can't, I can't remember. Anyways, it was five dollars. You could see the sign; it's still hanging on the bottom of the, on the bottom, bottom of the mirror, and um, the lady said that it was. Said it was haunted. Okay, again, you can. It says haunted mirror five dollars. <throat> she said that it was part of a bedroom set. It had a dresser, had a bed, it had a, a nightstand, a bunch of other crap that went along with it. She took it to some place, um, uh, like a secondhand store or whatever those are called, in Charleroi. It has the big chicken or the big rooster or whatever. I know whoever's watching this that lives in PA or southwestern Pennsylvania that knows Charleroi, you know, you know where I'm talking about. Uh, she took all the stuff there. and um, But she forgot the mirror and forgot uh, some kind of stained glass thing. Uh... But she said that the stained glass thing, it, it's obviously, it's stained glass. It's really nice. It's really heavy. She can't just put $5 on it and have somebody come pick it up, which I fully understand. Um, but she believed that there was something attached to all of this stuff. Um, so, I mean, with the mirror, she said that she was seeing black shadows she was getting like black shadows standing over her, her, her son, uh, and or, like over her kids, over her grandkids and all this stuff. And, uh, she was getting voices. She was getting scratched. Uh, she was getting a, a bunch of stuff, I guess. So she took it to the flea market and there was a bunch of people that was looking at it. And, um, a lot of people said that they wanted it. A lot of people was looking at it, you know, 
blah, blah, blah. I walk by, and me and my fiance walk by, and she tells the story to somebody else, and then we walk up, and then she tells the story to us. So I get intrigued, and I'm like, you know what? I want the mirror. Speaking of the devil. Okay, why? Wow, what do you want? Well, show me. Show me. I'm just making a video. It's a video on my phone. Okay. Let's I'm just making a video that. explaining the mirror and then I'm gonna let it like do its thing. I was watching that in memory of Alex Trebek thing. Yeah. Watch this episode here. The Jets. Oh, the Cowboys. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Tom Landry. Okay, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, Jesus, God. Purple people, or uh, the purple people eaters. Or something like that. I will die. <laughs> Understood the first, the, the option play. I, yeah, I always call it a lateral play. Whatever. Of course, I play backyard football a lot, so that's what we call it. Um. Anyways, where was I? Uh, I can't remember exactly where I was. Yeah, she said that there was a basically a bunch of crap that was going on, and um, so she got scared, obviously, and just got rid of the mirror. And um, she warned us. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. She warned us when we were buying it. Um, she gave us her number and all this stuff, and said that this mirror is going to ruin our lives and <clears throat> uh, but the only reason why I took our number is because I wanted to say you know whatever if something ever did happen I want to be able to text her and be like hey you were right this is you know it's kind of cool blah 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 you know she was she's worried that I'm going to give the mirror back to her which I'm not going to do um, I already have people that want to buy this mirror off of me if I ever decide to get, you know, to get rid of it. Uh, it's actually a, a friend that my fiance works with. Um, he has his own, like, paranormal investigation group. Like, he, like back in the day, I guess he did. Well, he wants to start it back up, and he wants to do a, a skit or whatever with the mirror. And I told him that that's fine. He can, on one condition, I get to be in a group with you. Because technically it's my mirror. And he said, fine, whatever. Because he loves paranormal stuff. Again, I grew up in two houses that was, that was haunted. Uh, I actually had my first experience in um, 
the actually I had my first experience in the trailer. So technically I grew up in three haunted houses, I guess. The first house we lived in, no, four, because my grandparents' house is haunted too. So every house that I lived in had something in it. My fir the first house we lived in was my grandparents' house. So I was three years old, which is right across the street. Um, and then my parents and I moved to Uniontown, lived there till I was five. I had, I remember some stuff being in there. Uh, I remember talking to somebody whenever I was, I was like five or something like that. And then we moved to West Brownsville. That's where I had the major one. Like I got pushed down the steps and like had like an outer body experience. And like I seen myself, it was really weird. <clears throat> um, and then I moved to my childhood home where I basically grew up at uh, in Republic. We moved there shortly after my sister was born in 97. I was seven years old. Actually, yeah. We moved there, we moved there in September of that year. I lived there until I was 20, 25, 26, something like that. And then me and my fiance got together. Me and her moved to a place in Roscoe, which was a little bit weird. It had like weird vibes. I never really had much happen down there. Oh, and then we moved here where I currently live. And I think there was something here prior. Um, I actually think, I honestly think something is attached to me. Um, I think it's been like that for a long time. And the reason being is because me and my buddy went and we were doing like, like we got into an abandoned house or abandoned places and stuff. Uh, we used to do this crap all the time. Well, we went with uh, the girls we were dating at the time. And um, <clears throat> I had a, uh, a blessed um, a cross necklace that my grandfather gave me. He's a ordained minister. And it was, he had it blessed for me and all this stuff. Um, but we, we would pray before we would go in and would, you know, places and whenever we came out so nothing would, you know, be attached to us. Well, we went to this area where this guy murdered his entire family by, like, he drugged them, basically beat them until they could barely move, tied them up. And he set his house on fire. But while he set his house on fire with his family still alive, barely alive, but still alive in the house, he hung himself like right in front of him. And that's how they all died, which is very, very horrible. But the foundation of the house is still there. So me, my buddy, and the, again, the people we were with at the time, um, we went to this, to this place and I'm not going to say where it is. I'll tell you it's, it is in fair chance PA. I will tell you that, but I'm not going to tell you exactly where it's at. Um, because there's actually like condos and shit there now, which is crazy. I cannot believe they did that. Uh, I would love to be able to interview those people and see if anything happened because the entire area is is like messed up like we <clears throat> we went down this it, it, there's a long like road long pathway that you walk down and like which obviously which was their driveway at one time like there's one of those farmer fences whatever you call them um blocking you know blocking the the driveway off well we went in and we were walking around this, th these ruins of the house and um, as we're walking around this place, I felt something kind of tug on my necklace and I looked down and the, my, my necklace 
was was ripped off of my neck. There was nobody around me. My necklace was ripped off of my neck and laying on the floor. I looked at my buddy. I said, dude, we got to leave. We got to leave right now. And he was like, why? What's going on? I said, something just ripped my necklace off. I bent down. I picked it up. As I'm holding this cross in my hand, walking away, I said, dude, we have to go. I grabbed a hold of him. I said, we have to leave right now. He didn't want to leave. And then I explained to him, I said, dude, something has a hold of me. I said, my, I said, this cross is burning my hand. We have to go. And at that point, he freaks out. We leave. We get off the, the property. We kneel down and we start praying. And as I'm kneeling, like on both, like I'm down on both knees kneeling because like I'm I'm at this point I'm sick to my stomach my head's starting to hurt you know I just I just I feel like I'm gonna pass out I feel like I'm gonna throw up I, like my whole body's on fire and I drove it was my car and I don't let anybody drive my car my buddy physically and mind you he weighed like 120 pounds at the time to my like 180 pounds at the time and my dude picked me up and cradled me to the passenger seat of my car. And my girlfriend at the time, my girlfriend at the time opened the car door. He put me in there. She laid the seat back and she sat in the seat with me. I'm sitting, I'm curled up in a ball, shaking. He's driving us home. We got to, we got to where we lived at the time. And... He helped me into the house. I literally went late. I crashed into bed. I literally laid in the bed. And they said, like, nobody nobody came around me the rest of the night. Like, my girlfriend didn't even lay. I mean, she didn't even sleep with me that night because they all said that my voice was completely different. My eyes were completely different. They said my voice was, like, real deep, real raspy, like, like almost like demon like and my eyes are they're naturally blue like baby blue they're <clears throat> like ocean blue almost or like wolf blue as people like to say and they said my eyes were like like almost almost like a gray hazel color which was really weird because my eyes change colors with my moods if i'm happy they're they're blue if I'm sad or depressed or gray if I'm mad like really mad I have to be like blackout mad for them to turn like hazel or almost like a reddish tint to them and whenever they told me that and they took pictures too they actually took pictures of my eyes and they took a video of me talking and they showed me this the next day and it was it just it freaked me out it was it was crazy I was terrified that's basically the story behind the mirror and kind of like why I think something's attached to me. Um, so I'm going to let this run just a little bit by itself with me not in here. Um, and see if anything happens. I don't know if anything's going to happen or not. I really don't. It's only about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, is Sunday the Sunday the eighth, November. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, I hear people outside, so it's kind of annoying. But uh, is anybody here that would like to talk to us? I just told the story about your previous owner. Or the house you previously was at. You said there was black shadows and all that junk, so. i never seen a black shadow. i never seen black shadows yet. Um, obviously, I got, I heard growls. Uh, the other crap, you know, I have a lot of recordings on here. I just got to figure out how to put them. 
from here to be able to cut it down to where I need to be able to, or cut it down to where I can actually put it in a video or something and put it online. I have to be, I got to try to figure out how to do that. I would do it on my laptop now, but my laptop is a piece of junk. Um, unless I completely, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to, I think I'm going to completely wipe everything off that laptop because it's only a couple years old and it's actually a really nice laptop. Um, and I barely use it, which is weird, weird because we barely use the laptop and just out of nowhere it just started like being trash pretty much. So, um, yeah, but again, I've never seen black shadows and hurt growls. Um, the videos that you guys see are the videos that I, of shit that I caught. This entire video I'm going to end up putting online because it explains more stuff and more stuff about me and all that shit. So it's going to be a long video. It's like right now this recording right here is 26 minutes and 17 seconds long. And I started this exactly when I started that. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, are you here? I would like for you to show yourself. I would like for you to show yourself in the mirror to these people. That would be fantastic. That would actually be really cool. Can you actually see the... No, you can't. I was going to say, if you can see the bathroom door in a video, go ahead and close the bathroom door if you want. But you can't do that, so don't, don't close the bathroom door. Because I can't. Nobody will be able to see it. I'm gonna move, move a box again. Do something. Like, whatever, whatever bag or whatever the hell you moved that night, that was cool as hell. Do that again. I don't know what it was, but do that again. I actually think it might have been one of those. Yeah, I think it was one of these. Maybe. I don't know. But move this again. I don't, I don't know how to move it, but or how you move it, but flip it over again. I don't know. Do something. Can you actually see that in the... Yeah. If it lifts up or something. Do that again. Or here, I'll even put it on fucking... I'll put it somewhere. I'm going to set this down. Now. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just leave that on the ground. Flip it over. Do something. But make noises. I'm actually telling you. I'm giving you full permission to do whatever the hell you want to today. Today, Well, not whatever the hell you want to because I don't want to get scratched and I don't feel like getting possessed and all that shit. But do something. Show yourself. It's been a while since you did anything. It really has. It's been quiet for... Uh, actually, it's been quiet for a couple weeks now. And I actually... Now, obviously, little stuff happens, but I fully expected expected for it to go completely crazy on Halloween. And Halloween, I got, like, nothing, nothing at all on Halloween, which blew my mind. So, um, so, yeah. I'm going to turn the IR on now. Um, the battery is starting to teeter between uh, green three bars and two, two bars, which is yellow. So I only have very limited time on that, which I got. If anybody knows where to get new batteries for these cameras, please let me know. Um, it's... Uh, I got the box in the other in my bedroom. I'll bring it in and I'll show it to you guys whenever I'm done or whatever. Uh, or I'll I'll like show I'll take a picture of the damn thing and show you, uh, you know what, what it is. But it's 
they're obviously little batteries like this, you know, they're like that, that long by like that fat, you know, so I, like wherever you know where to get those batteries at that last a lot longer than these batteries, please let me know because these batteries fucking suck. They literally last, especially if the IR light is on, if the IR light is on, it literally will last like maybe, maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour before you completely lose everything. And I actually, I made a video, I made a video with the IR completely on the entire time we were gone. And it did not save the video at all because the camera completely died while we were gone. So, and it sucks because I had the recorder going and I caught a boatload of shit on the recorder. And, like, I heard shit, like, slamming and moving around and all that stuff. It was nuts. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't able to catch it on the camera, which is retarded because the camera is supposed to save it whether or not it dies or not. It's supposed to automatically save it, and it did not. It was weird as hell. So, but anyways, I'm going to turn the IOR on for a little bit. I'm only going to let it go for like 10 minutes because this is going to be like, this is already a half hour long video. So, I'm going to let it go. I really hate how that light, how the IR light is on right there. I really fucking hate that. Let's see if I can this out. Whatever, it's good enough.
you can see me. I'm not sure. Hey, look at that, you can. All right, guys. Yeah, it, it, the, it drains super quick because it's now on like between one bar and completely red, which is no bars. It's going to die soon. Um, so I'm going to quickly end this. If you guys catch anything that I don't, please let me know. Mark it in the, the time slot or in the comments. Just put the time slot there uh, so I can go back and look, look at it myself if I don't see it. Um, but I'm putting this video up in, it, in, you know, its entirety, so whether there's nothing on here or not, it explains the mirror, it explains my background just a little bit. Did that camera just move? Yeah, that was a little bit weird. I have to go back and look at that. Um, but yeah, I will post more videos. This is going on Facebook and YouTube. Um, look up my Facebook. It's, uh, I think it's Joey Boa Stump or something like that. J O E Y B O A S T U M P. Uh, it's got a picture of me and my fiance. We're both wearing glasses in this video. It's, we're, it, it, it's, I just put a banner up on it. It says Trump 2020. So, I'm yes, I'm a Trump fan. So all you Biden supporters, kiss my ass. Um, I don't care. If you're upset about that, boo-hoo. Okay, boo-hoo. Grow some fucking balls. Um, it's also going on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube, obviously, is... Um, Uh, just, just look up Joe Stump, or Joey Stump, or, um, my email is, uh, it, it was StumpyJoe3134 at yahoo.com. For some reason, that Yahoo, uh, that email, for some reason, I haven't gotten an email since July, which is really weird. I don't understand why. Um, so my, my Google, or my, yeah, my, um, my Google, uh, or whatever it is account is, uh, StumbyJoe3134 at gmail.com. It's S-T-U-M-P-Y-J-O-E-3134, all one thing, at gmail.com. So, again, if you guys catch anything, please let me know. You see anything let me know if you hear anything let me know uh, if not it's cool it's whatever you know you can't exactly predict the paranormal um, so thank you guys stay safe stay humble be good One more thing, I'm thinking about getting a Twitter, or, oh, hold on, I'm going to stop recording on the recorder, but I'm thinking about getting a Twitter, or an Instagram, or something, uh, so I can post more stuff on there, because it seems like YouTube, and Facebook stuff. It seems like it really sucks anymore for people trying to post stuff. And I've been trying to do this stuff for a while now, and it's really hard to get going. So, but now that I actually have something like this to keep keep things kind of interesting. Uh, maybe a little bit better so anyways like I said I'll see you guys take care everybody be safe even though you can't see me <laughs> be safe take care later <laughs>